You're listening to Life After the Collar with your boy J-Mad on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and all the other platforms that we are on. Even Alexa can make it do what it do. Y'all let me know what the mic is sound, sounding like. Hopefully we're good right now. Um, I'm going to start the show, the conversation at the top of the hour. So y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. 
Hey, Jackie, yeah, you right. That's what I was blaming on the devil, like everybody else. Okay, we good? Okay, good, 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 good. So we good now. <clears throat> so I don't have to wait to the top of the hour. I'm going a, I'm to a start right here. I'm going to start right here. No, let me let me let me um throw in one more song and then um we'll 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 let me get you know what see see mic sound like you put some new batteries in your mic y'all need to blame the uh sound tech back there y'all hey D Deanna don't make me pull a Bishop Morton. Don't make me do the bus Bishop. It is what it is. <laughs> no, let's go ahead and start it. Y'all got me in a good mood. Y'all got me because I I was I was uh you know I was getting a little frustrated. I was I was I was I was getting ready to uh let's just say it wouldn't it was so y'all if those that know me that when I get frustrated. When I get frustrated, when I get frustrated, I get frustrated. And no one likes to be around me when I'm frustrated. Michelle went to, uh, Deanna, Michelle went to her first uh, full gospel con uh, conference uh, with Pastor Coleman and myself. And she got a taste of my attitude. When I get frustrated doing conferences, especially when I'm ready to eat. I ain't had nothing to eat. And I get when I get into frustrated or I'm waiting on people, I do not. I do not like I'm going to put it out. I hate waiting on people. And so uh, 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 Michelle got uh, a taste of uh, my uh, my attitude. And I, she, at, she actually got scared. She didn't want. She don't want to admit it, but she actually got scared. Anyway, let's have this. Ha let's have this conversation. Cheaters never win. So we were talking earlier. Um. Yeah, the yeah, said she should have warned her. Jackie said, "I'm hey 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 I'm look I'm right here I'm right here I'm reading everything y'all saying. I said what I said. Y'all don't have to sit there and talk about Jackie talking about oh he's horrible. Jackie says he's horrible and very impatient. Oh Lord Michelle I should have warned you." You know what? I'm gonna end. I'm just gonna end the show. I'm just gonna end the show. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna let's stick to the topic at hand. Let's stick to the topic at hand. You know what? I'm just gonna play y'all a song. I'm gonna play y'all a song. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play y'all a song, and then we're gonna we're gonna come back and uh, have this conversation because y'all uh, <clears throat> y'all 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 taking things too 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 far. Y'all y'all just taking things too far don't make me play this song on y'all Walking 
causing Hoping that things would change But you never gave me that option There's so many things you don't do To make me overlook the wrong This is not the way that love should be I guess you're not the man not gonna do I'm telling, tell y'all we got a lot of stuff i'm checking the chat room out shout out thank you michelle thank you jackie thank, thank you aries thank you deanna all of y'all for checking back in uh, uh on the show but what we're not gonna do is jump on uh the dj we're not gonna play that game today today is not that game day matter of fact today is love your dj day love your pad car your podcast host today your radio host. That's what today is. Can we get can we can we agree to that those terms? All right, let's let, let on a serious note, real real talk. Let's go ahead and get into this because I only have an hour now. Uh right at the top of the hour. Perfect timing. Um Cheaters Never's win. We was talking earlier when I opened up the show, the introduction of the show. On the introduction of the show, I talked about Nicole. Uh, Nicole Murphy and she was kissing found kissing on somebody's husband and um, apparently it was Sunshine's husband she had apparently she had put on some weight and people tried to put uh, throw in her face because she's changed and let's have this conversation. And I want to be real serious. I want to be real serious. I want to say, hey, thank you all so much for the laughs in the chat room. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I want to, I want real conversation on this because I may have to expand it uh, to another day. Um, but I want to, I want to be, have a real conversation in this area because, um. A lot of men and women deal with cheating, whether they're being cheating on or whether the the person cheating. It is a uh, topic that is, if you pay attention to relationship conversations, how women view men and how men view women and all of this in between stuff, cheating is the foundation. I don't care how we look at it the number one word that always come up 
It's the word loyalty. I just want a, 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 a someone that is loyal. I um, I happily agreed with a young lady who on her page, she made a frustrated uh, statement. And her statement was this. She said, I'm sick and tired of you women talking about you want uh, consistency. Please, because that word was so broad, she said, because that terminology is so broad, please define what you're talking about. Here's the issue that I have with uh, with our, I'll just say culture, and I'm not talking about um, black folks. I'm just talking about cult, our culture, where we are, where society is today. In, in, in the, in the, in the, in the conversation of what, uh, of re- relationships. Let me put it that way. Relationships. I said earlier that uh, um, some. So I was on different posts, and then I was going to post on somebody's page the song. Not all. Not black men don't cheat. And then looking up that term, that that song, mm-hmm. I found an interview that he had did. Um, on sister circle, um, the person I'm talking referring to is Little du- Little Duvall, out of Jacksonville, Florida. His name is Little Duvall, the comedian, but he has Smile, um, Living My Best Life, those types of things. Um, and then the latest one is called um, Black Men Don't Cheat. And so they ask him a, a question concerning uh, what is cheating. They ask him. To define what is cheating. And he he actually shocked me. He he made my mouth drop open. He said cheating is to him. He said to him, cheating is when you go outside of the boundaries of when you all decided who you are to each other. And he said, "It's a, a lot of times, in in a way, he was saying that in, in a lot of times it has nothing to do with a, a person. Cheating is when you go against who you represent, who you presented yourself to be, who you presented yourself to be in the beginning of the relationship." I think that's a better way of, of paraphrasing what he was saying. Who you presented yourself to be in the beginning of the relationship. When you out, when you step outside of that, that is cheating. Because now you have re, you have, you have re, um, misrepresented yourself. And to some point, to some point, I agree. What does, when I say to some point, well, a large part of it. A large part of it, I agree. But the conversation is that needs to be added to it. We all change. And when we connect with someone, we change together. We change together. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. This is who I say uh, I am. This is who I I, I, I say that I am. I'm going to be, this is where I say I am emotionally, this is where I say I am concerning a relationship, and if my conversation never changes, you cannot hold me accountable to it. Unless unless I come to you and say, oh, you know, since being with you, this is where my mindset is. This is how I change. So a person changes. Uh, I'm going too much into dating, into dating and I don't want to go there. But if I was to meet someone, if I was to meet someone and I let them know up front, this is who I am. This is where mentally I am, emotionally where I am. And th- you, that person, the other person has to accept. 
That's who I am. And that person has to make a decision if I'm going to pursue this relationship or move on. Or if I'm going to close myself off and hoping that this person will one day change or change their mind. Or am I going to allow myself to be still free to date or to move on or to accept somebody else that comes along? I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back and read some of. I'm gonna go back and read some of these, some of some of some of these posts. But I think, and this is me. I think if the person, you are able to examine your change of mind. You're able to change your 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 mentality how you perceive your life you cannot assume we cannot we cannot assume that the other person has changed their way of thinking or their feelings because you have changed their feelings and i'm going too far into dating but i wanted to kind of group this thing is because in order to classify dating we must classify that we are in a relationship that that person is in a relationship. Now, when you're married, when you are married, it's no question on whether you are in a relationship or not. It's not even an issue. You've made a commitment before God and to and before the legal system. And honestly, you are married way before. I want guys and guys and ladies to hear this part of the conversation. You are married way before you step in front of the 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 uh, the pastor, the justice of the peace. You're married way before then. Because you make a commitment. Now, just because you're dating someone. Does not mean that you are committed to someone. I hope y'all got that. Just because you're dating someone. Does not mean that. And ladies. I think more ladies do this than guys. Guys do it because I used to do it. I don't do it anymore. But I used to do it. I used to be the one. To say. To 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 know. Once I I say you know I'm in a relationship with you. I'm in a, I'm, and I go all all the way in. But I learned the hard way. Don't do that. I learned the hard way. Do not do that, especially early on in a relationship. The worst thing we can do in a relationship is expect the other person to have the exact same feelings. As we do. When they don't think or react or have the same life experiences as we do. That's why you have to be. A a lot of the posts that ask um, the question. What what do you. uh, I don't. I don't. uh, Aries just asked the question. I don't. Don't do what? I don't. I don't. Instantly take myself off the market because I'm vibing, vibing with someone. I don't, I don't do that anymore. I used to. Early on in life, I used to until I got hurt time and time and time again. Just because I'm feeling some way. Doesn't mean that that person see, feel the same way about me. That's right, Jackie. Assume uh, uh, the person feels the same way about you. I don't do that anymore. I don't. I'm not nowhere near. And I hate when other persons uh, either do me that way, or I have conversation with people that, and they just go off on the deep end, like, "But I love him," or "I love her," and I'm like. Well, just because you feel that way does not make the other person feel that way. 
Aries is saying the communication, the key to all uh, relationship is communication. That used to be the case. I mean, that is a good way to say it. However, communication is not the key. Comprehension is the key to good relationship. Com uh, 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 the key to all relationship is comprehension of what the other person is saying. I could say all day, I could communicate all day how I feel. If the other person never comprehends how I feel, then it doesn't matter because I did my part. She did her part. If if somebody tell tell me, Jason, um, I'm I I, I um at, at our age, let's just talk our our age. Well, the majority of people that's on the show tonight. If if somebody come up to me and say, "Hey, um, I'm done having children. I don't want any more children. I still can have children. I just don't want any more children." In my mind, I did not hear. That she said she don't want any more children. Because in my mind, I heard she's still able to have children and I want I want another child. So in, in, in communication, even though I communicate and I hear what you're saying, Aries, I see it. I see effective communication is comprehension. I can communicate. I can say what I want to say. But if the other, if both parties are not comprehending what each other are saying, and see that is the problem with most relationships today, and the reason why a lot of divorces are happening today, or a lot of relationship, long term relationship, in 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 bad breakups, is because we aren't communicating; we're just talking to each other. Because we we equate communication is I'm saying what I want to say. She's saying what she want to say. I communicated what she wanted, what I needed. They, she communicated what she wanted. And we said we communicated about it. But did we comprehend each other? I'm way off uh, cheating. I'm way off cheating. But I think the foundation, I'm going to try to bring this in. I'm going to try to bring it all the way back in. The foundation as to why people cheat. It's because somewhere down the line, comprehension did not take place. Ladies, I want y'all, I want you all to allow, because on, on Facebook I get, uh, you know, thrown under the bus. But I want y'all to be, I want you all to allow me to give you some information that, and I put it out before, but I want to put some information. If I can be real with y'all, let me be real with y'all. Holler at your boy. This is J-Man. Just say yes, J-B, J, J, be real with us. Holler at your boy. Thoughts of you running through my head As I lie awake in my bed
can't help myself Wanna see some fireworks Let our love explode So I'll rerun every episode I'm in overload But remember this night Show me how you feel Let me know it's real tonight Oh, there's nowhere I'd rather be Than here with you You're listening to Life After the Collar with your boy J Man on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and all the other platforms that we're on. Even Alexa can make it do what it do. Ladies, I think only one person responded. I think that it was Aries. When I said, "Allow me permission," give me permission. To uh, be real. Aries was the only one to say go ahead and be real. Jackie I agree with what you just said. To Aries. Jackie's just said to Aries. I think we open ourselves. We I think she's referring to women. Um, too much before we really know. The intention of the person. A guy. We can hurt ourselves even more. So either way it can be dangerous. But I do understand what you're saying. Okay. Ladies. I've said this time and time again. It happens so much to women than do God. Like it used to be me, but it happens more to women. And women do this more than guys. Ladies, you are still on the market. You're still on the market until... You and him, because it can't be it can't be one sided. I posted a a, a a a video today on my Facebook page of this guy. He was feeling some kind of way about his girl, and so he got to the point where he was ready to propose to her, and he got all of his family around and and the social. They posted everything they had. Everybody was live on social media. And she told him no. Got on his knees in the public. Not not it wasn't even in the private say he was like in the middle of a mall or something like that. And people were standing around and she said no. Now he did I'm gonna say it this way. He did the right thing by putting his heart out there and what he his intention to her was about. Ladies, if a guy has not stepped to you and said, hey, I've dealt with and I'm going to have the conversation. I'm going to say the conversation that y'all really that that I feel. I don't want to want y'all to think that I have all the right conversation. Um, But a guy should basically tell you all this. I've dealt with my issues. From my past. I've come to a conclusion. Even as far as being a man. But more so. About being a husband. And what it takes to be a husband. I want y'all to listen to me. And he doesn't have to say it in the manner in which I'm saying it. Because I may be a little dramatic with it. I 
But he he should say he should tell you several things. One, I dealt with me as a man. And that I'm ready to take this us, this us to the next level, because the next level I want to go to is to be your husband. In order to be your husband, I now have to prove myself that I'm worthy of being your husband. So I'm asking you to let's take this to the next level. And here are things that I'm going to do. And he should set out things like I'm going to make sure that this is taken care of. I want to be a part of your financial situation. I don't want you to be a part of mine right now. But when we get married. We're going to merge this thing together. But right now. I want you to see that I can do this. I can take care of this for you. I can do this for you. Or not for you. And see, lady, stop doing, stop thinking that a man's supposed to do stuff for you. He should be saying that I want to do stuff with you. These are things that I can do with you. In other words, this is how I can add to your life. And it should start off with. Making sure you have gas in your car, making sure it has a tune up, making sure the 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 yard work is taken care of. If he don't do it, he hires somebody to do it for you. Because he's he's getting ready to set a standard for your life with him. If he's not doing any of those things, ladies, he's not your man. Now, I need I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to uh, adjust this conversation a little bit. Watch his actions, not his words. Don't listen. You can listen to his words. Yeah, because they're going to say stuff. But reconcile his actions with his words. Making sure your cars and it's and it's little things. See, we, we forget about the little things because we're too concerned about the big things. Is he able to take me to a fancy restaurant? Is he able to take you to uh to get nice clothes and buy you nice things? The 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 amount of flowers you get on Valentine's Day, how big and elaborate uh your Valentine's Day is. No, the hell with all of that. I uh, think that let me read what Jackie just said, because I think Jackie just hit it on the head. A guy would act like a husband, a husband material to get in the pan. OK, OK, I see what she's saying. I'm married. And so uh, let me read the whole thing. Panty so that you have to be careful with women who pretend to be wife material to get a room. Girl, you hit that right on. it. Man, Jackie, matter of fact, I'm going to have Jackie come over one day. Me, Jackie, and DJ Sammy going to be in the house. Because that one right there made me made me want to have Jackie on the com- on, on, on live on air. That was probably one of the balanced, most balanced conversation I've ever heard. I'm going to read it again. A guy will act like husband material. And Jackie, I'm going to, let me see if I can copy it. Nope. I hope I, I'm going to go back, but I'm going to post this. A guy will act like husband material to get in the panties, so you have to be careful. And women will pretend to be uh, wifey material to get a ring. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Michelle just made a great uh, topic. Sometimes we can get caught up in our own fantasies. And 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 Michelle, I'm I will I would define it as fantasies, but I'm going to be honest with you. It's how our generation grew up. The the ladies, the young ladies today are not growing up like you all grew up, like our generation grew up. Back in the day, uh, when the most the majority of the listeners. When we was growing up, guys was 
taught to do outdoor. We knew that we was going to do, we, we was outdoor stuff. We, but we, we didn't, growing up, guys was not cultured. And, and um, Aries, I see the question, I'm going to get to it. Um, guys was not cultured growing up. Little boys was not cultured or trained growing up in relationship. Women were. Young girls were. Young girls had the dolls, the can. They had a relationship. Though That doll, uh, Barbie and Ken had a relationship. They had a marriage. They had a house. They had called, Ken had a job and all of this other stuff. And so you all was trained for, for this fantasy. But us guys was not. Us guys was not trained. We were not even thinking about dating. We was not thinking about. By the time y'all got in middle school, y'all knew what day y'all want y'all uh, wedding to be on, what colors you was going to have, if it was going to be a spring or a fall wedding, if uh, what location y'all wanted, uh, what kind of job he was going to have. And all. Guys, we was not even thinking about being married. Women was taught that. Guys was not. And so women were, were trained to create a fantasy. Ladies, I, I hate to put it, but y'all y'all had this, uh, this knight in shining armor. And it didn't turn out, it didn't pan out that way for you. What y'all was growing up and pretending to be and what you was going to have with your can and the, the Corvette and the job and y'all was going to have these nice clothes and all of this other stuff and you wouldn't have to work. It didn't pan out that way. Question, Aries asked. If I have been, if I, if I have been on the market, got a couple of items off the shelf, then one, two, or three began to do whatever is to go to the next level. Now, I don't understand that question at all. If I've been on the market, I got a couple of items off the shelf. Okay, here's the thing. The, the, what I see in that conversation is you thinking that you're pulling stuff out of the market. As a to, real conversation, and I hate to be sound like a male chauvinistic. No, you are the item on the shelf. You are the item. You're not pulling stuff off of the shelf. You are you you are the item in the market. And let me let me help y'all out. Th and this will help y'all out a lot. This will help y'all out a lot. When a guy goes to a market, when a guys when a majority of the guys, when we go to the store. We know exactly what we're going to get. We get it off the shelf and we leave. We're not in there shopping around. You are the item, women. You are the item on the shelf. And I hate to minimize you all in that. And I'm not trying to minimize you all. No, I mean not being exclusive with one man. No. My thing is this. When you take yourself off the market, that means you're no longer on the shelf. And when a good and another man comes by, he don't see you on the shelf anymore because you're you're no longer mentally or emotionally or physically available. No, I, I get what you're saying. I I I get exactly what you're saying. And your the way you are the the way you are expressing it is the way most women express it or think about it. It's okay for a guy to come along and look at you, and he can say all kind of stuff to you. Yeah, I think I need this in my life. Yeah, this product right here because let me, and I will I will um. Equate it to how I shop. I'll go in the store 
knowing that I need something to make me feel better. Let's talk medical terms. I'm finna blow y'all minds and God is just dropping this one right off, in, off the top of my dome. So I need something that will make me feel better because I've been feeling sick. And I've, I've talked to different people and they told me, hey, you need to try this product. You need to try this product. You need to try this product. So I go to the store. And when I go into the marketplace, I look at everything that's out there that's going to make my, my life be better. Let me tell you all something about men. We simply want to live a better life. We simply want to be happy. We want to, we want, we have all of these issues that goes on with us and we want something. We need somebody in our lives that's going to take care. These are my symptoms. Let me help you all out. What are our symptoms? I got, I'm freaky. I'm, I got a lot of freak. The reason why I like looking at certain pictures or porn or whatever, because I'm a little freaky. I'm the type that I like, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, my appetite is I love cook because the way I grew up. I grew up with my grandmother, and my grandmother knew how to throw down. So I'm, one of my issues is that I need somebody that know how to feed me. Well, you know, I'm I'm still a man, and you know, I grew up with my grandfather. I'm just describing some stuff going, popping in, popping my head. Um, you know, growing up, you know, my 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 dad, my my grandfather, he was he was a quiet type. So whenever he got into a a bind, he didn't talk things through. He just sent simply sat down and was quiet. And so I don't want anybody to 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 be in my quiet space. When I need my quiet space, I just need my my quiet space. These are symptoms that I deal with. And so now I'm going to the market, and when I go to the market, watch this, I'm looking to see okay. I got that right there. I, okay. She got that that product right there got, but it's missing this. But here's what we find out. Ladies, ladies, one of the things that I po I posted today about knowing your value, about knowing your value, and it was all inclusive. It's not because men need to know their value as well. And, and ladies, stop minimizing the value of a man. Um, I I I uh, I said that. Stop minimizing. We need to we need to stop minimizing. If if they can't afford you, they just can't afford you. Watch this. A guy makes a decision. I want y'all to hear me very, very careful. And I'm going to end this because I don't want to go too deep, too deep into this. A man makes a decision when he goes in the store because the one product, watch this, the one product that he really needs is expensive. Oh, Jesus. When 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 he he goes to the store, and he says, "This is actually the 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 product that I need, but it costs more than I'm willing to spend." Ladies, if he doesn't, if you know your value, and he does not pull you off the shelf, and he does he does he 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 settles. For a lesser value product, let him. Stop chasing after him. Stop running after him. If he decides, because you know you are everything that you're cracked up to be. And he don't pick you out. Let his ass go. Let him have what he have because here's what we do and I'm talking about me I was I was sick a couple of months ago I was sick sick a couple of months ago I was really dehydrated and and things like that and I was I, my, I just wasn't feeling right and people told me the product to go get when I got there the store it was it was it was too exp it was more money that I wanted to spend and I took a lesser um uh, a product watch this and eventually had to come back to the market it is no guarantee 
It was no guarantee that when I got back that that product was still going to be on the shelf. I took a chance of choosing a lesser valued, a, a cheaper. Let me be. I'm going to be real honest with you. I chose a cheaper version of what I really needed. And this is for guys and girls. And I don't want that. My conversation has been really lifting up the the women and saying how guys. But let me be honest with y'all. In this day and age, it used to didn't be this way. But in this day and age. In this particular day and age. The value, because there are certain products on the shelf that says, I'm just like the original. Walmart has a whole bunch of them on the shelf that says, I'm just like the original product. So ladies, don't exclude yourself because when y'all say, I'm a good woman, by whose standard are you a good woman? Uh, who is this? Uh, Jack, my, my eyes got blurry there. Jackie just said, I think everyone has value. Um, they just sometimes mark their value down because the low is self-esteem. Oh, going it, Jackie, I needed you on the show tonight. You hitting, you batting a thousand. Watch this. Because they, the store wanted to get rid of some of the 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 uh what once was an expensive item they discount it don't discount yourself i didn't get nowhere near cheating today i just got into you're listening to your boy jman on speaker.com iHeartRadio, spot uh spotify and all the other platforms that we're on even alexa can make it do what it do all I want to do is make it last forever. How let you, boy. I holla. Make it last. Make it last forever. Don't let I love you. Ooh. 
two, Life After the Collar with your boy, J-Man on Speaker.com, AHA Radio, Spotify, and all the other platforms that we're on. Even Alexa can make it do just what it's supposed to do, baby, baby. Let me do this, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I think what I, I, I really wanted to say, and I wish I would have gotten it because the cheating thing was really good. But we dealt so much with dating. If I had to give a statement, even as we spend this last 15 minutes together. If I had to make a statement to everyone, it would be this. Be mindful uh, of what you desire in life. Be mindful of who, what you desire, what you want out of life. Before you include adding someone else in your life. Know what you want for yourself first. Know what you want from love. What, what is it that you want out of love? And be able to express it with words. To explain it with your words. Be able to be. Be able to do that. Oh I think I want this. Oh I wish I had this. No. What do you want? No ifs. No ands. No buts about it. What What in the hell do you want? And if that person cannot give it to you, the question now becomes, what do you want from that person? If you're so adamant about having this person, that person, that job, that organization, that church, that whoever or whatever. And this is not in, just in, relationship is more than just who was that? I was just watching. um Doing a documentary, I was working, looking at a documentary or a conference thing, and one of the most jacked up things that we do when it when it talks about oh the uh, it was a Islamic dude, a, 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 a Buddhist, not a Buddhist, I forgot what he what his uh, religion was, but he said the worst thing that we do is we minimize what a relationship is. We minimize that a relationship is body on body. You know, I'm having sex with you, so so we're in a relationship. No. We have to understand that every relationship should be vetted the exact same way. What do I add to you and what do you add to me? No if, no ands, no buts about it. What do I add to you? If if, if I'm gonna be in this job with you as your 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 employee. What are you giving me and what I'm, what are you expected for me to give you? If we're in this friendship, what are you giving me and what, I'm, what are you expecting for me to give to you? And we miss that part of, of, of adding people into our lives. We, 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 I'm going I'm to be honest with you all. We jack up a majority of our life because we jack up our love relationship. Pay attention to your life. The decisions that you've made. Places you've gone. Things you've done. It was centered around a love relationship. I'm going to give you an example. Ladies, y'all have this real bad habit. I don't think it, I, it, it's cool with me. It is what it is. Y'all have the bad habit of cutting y'all doggone hair off when y'all get out of a bad relationship. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with it. 
And then you, you, you spend years trying to grow your hair back and get. We make we make rash decisions. I know people that completely uh, um, change jobs, completely move from one side of town to the other side of town, uh, change change the way that they dress, change their makeup style, change the way it, it and major changes in your life based on love relationship and you cannot base your life ladies and gentlemen you cannot base your life off love relationships i admit it i admit it on this show uh, a while ago um early on in life i went through a traumatic thing um with this lady uh i was in a relationship i had we was going to get married but she decided to because she had met this other guy that had a little edge to him, had a little thug to him. I wasn't the thug type, um, but she said it was something about him that she had to get to know. She was pregnant. She didn't want. She didn't want. Um, she didn't want to carry my my baby because she wanted to be with this other guy. Nor did, and she looked me dead in my eyes. I know that if we get married, it'll last forever. But that that phase in my life changed everything about me to this day it still affects me to this very day it still affects me and you cannot allow a love relationship that's a that's a, I think that's a topic that we need to discuss that we've never addressed we cannot allow a love relationship something that some knucklehead did did to us did to our emotional or our romantic side that affected everything. We would lose our job. We would walk away from from our responsibility as a parent, as a um, member of society, because some knucklehead did what they did. That's why it's important, ladies and gentlemen, to be able to 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 love yourself. And know what you want out of your own life. You have to be able to get it out of your own life for yourself and not wait on somebody else's to bring somebody else to bring it to you. Stop waiting on them to bring it to you. Truth be told, it's not their responsibility to make you happy. If you're waiting on somebody to make you happy, then you're losing the battle. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you real talk. If you are not happy with yourself without me, you damn sure won't be happy with me in your life. Because I'm going to do some stuff that's going to jack. There are stuff that I do that makes you laugh. But just because I make you laugh does not make me, does not make you happy. And that's with anybody. I don't look just because a person makes me laugh or makes me feel a certain way when I'm around him, around them does not make me want to spend the rest of my life with them. It doesn't. I used to be that way. I'm going to be honest with you. I used to be that way. You made me feel a certain way. I had certain things that I was looking at. That I desired. And you feel those things, but I included those things into me being happy. I needed, if you can give me this, I can be happy. No, when I come to you, I need to already be happy. When that dude come to you, he needs to already be happy. When that chick comes to you, she needs to, uh, uh, forgive me for using the word chick. When that lady comes to you, she needs to already be happy, completely happy. And your hap- her happiness or his happiness has absolutely nothing to do with you. Their happiness has absolutely nothing to do with you. The enhancement of their happiness is the conversation we need to have. But that's just me. I'm going to play this last song. I'm going to come back with my uh, uh, motivational moment for the night. Holla at your boy. It's all good. Thank you all so much for giving me that leeway. Uh, It's all good. It's all gravy. 
Let's make it do what it do. Everybody's looking for that something. One thing that makes it all complete. You'll find it in the strangest places. Places you never knew it could be. Some find it in the faces of their children. Some find it in the lover's eyes. Who can deny the joy it brings when you find that special thing? You're flying without wings. Some find it sharing every You're listening to Life After the Collar with your boy J-Man on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and all the other platforms that we're on. Even Alexa is making it do what it's supposed to do. My my closing remark is my motivational moment. Don't forget, don't forget to take a bath. Don't forget to take your bath. Don't forget to take a bath. Don't forget to take your bath. Here's what I mean by that. Every day, we are um, consumed with life. And it's just like kids that we make go outside and play. Or even the ones... That desire to just sit in the house. And play in the makeup. Or play house. Or play whatever. 
As the day moves along, dirt gets on them. And we have things that, that's on on our skin. And in order to get those things off, we instruct our kids. I don't care if you didn't do anything today. You need to take a bath to get the dirt off of you. Every day, man of God, woman of God, children of God. It's up to us to make a conscious decision to take a bath. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Take a bath. In other words, at the end of your day, what did you learn? What did you get out of life? What did life teach you? Some stuff stuck to us that did not need it to be on us. Mentally, we, we've learned stuff that's going to be engraved in our hands, in our heads. But there are things outside elements that was going to stick on our skin that we have to learn to simply go to the tub and wash off. Stop carrying things into the next day that need, don't need to be on you. Some stuff that's on our body, on our skin, does not need to be on us. Because we should have washed those things off of us. My friend, my, my sister, my brother. Did you take a bath last night? And you remember... Growing up, when you knew you didn't take a bath, and when you got up the next day, your mother, your father, your grandparents, somebody said, when, they, when you walk past them, they asked the question, did you take a bath last night? Tomorrow is going to be a new day. Some stuff is supposed to be in us mentally, spiritually. We're supposed to have grown some type of way. But when you grow, dead skin falls off. And it takes a bath to remove the dead skin because of your growth. Question. Did you grow any today? And if you did, if you did, I'm going to make one statement. Go take a bath. You listen to your boy J Man on Spreaker.com. It is my pleasure. I don't take it for granted that you all listen in uh, three times a week. But, hey, I appreciate you all, all of my faithful listeners. Love you. May God bless you. May God keep you. My name is Jason Madison. And when you pray, make sure you call my name. Holler at you, boy. It's all good. It's definitely, definitely all gravy. I holler. Everywhere that I go, everywhere that I be, if you were not surrounding me with your energy, I don't want to be there. Don't want to be anywhere Any place that I can feel you I just want to be near you And yes, I'm a mess But I'm blessed to be stuck with you oh. Sometimes it gets unhealthy We can't be by ourselves We We'll always need each other Yes, I'm a mess But I'm blessed to be stuck with you I just want you to know that If I could, I swear I'd go back Make everything all better Ooh. It's 
the things that you say It's the way that you pray Pray on my insecurities I know you're feeling me I know sometimes I do wrong But hear the words of this song When I go I don't stay gone for long You know what's going on Yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you oh, Sometimes it gets unhealthy We can't be by ourselves We will always need each other And yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you I just want you to know that If I could, I swear I'd go back Everything all better Ooh. And now I'm coming back home to you And now I'm coming back home to you I'm coming back home I'm coming back home to you I'm coming back home I'm coming back home With you, sometimes it gets unhealthy. We can't be by ourselves, we will always need each other. And yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you. I just want you to know that if I could, I swear I'd go back, make everything all better. Ooh. 